Hey friends, Daniel here with the Leap Pages Tech Team bringing you today's tech tip. Here at Leap Pages, we directly integrate with AWeber, a popular email service provider, allowing you to automatically send opt-in information collected to AWeber. During this tech tip, I wanted to dive in how to connect AWeber within your Leap Pages account and send opt-in information collected to them. Let's get to the fun. First, we'll want to make sure that our AWeber account is connected within our Lead Pages account. To do this, let's head into the form widget on the page that I have pulled up. My form widget is currently housed within the button widget connected to our pop-up. On the form widget, I'm just going to go ahead and place my mouse over it and click on Edit Integrations. Now from the left-hand menu that appears, I'm going to select Add an Integration, More Services, and click on AWeber. Then connecting my new account and giving it a name. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just call this Lead Pages. You can give it whatever account name you'd like. This is for your housekeeping purposes as you can connect more than one AWeber account within our drag and drop builder. From this point, go ahead and connect. We'll have a modal that appears where it will ask you to log in with your AWeber login information. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in for us now and allow access. Once your AWeber account is connected, you're gonna see a screen appear like this letting us know the account is connected and available for use within Lead Pages. Now I did want to mention that connecting AWeber within Lead Pages should only need to be done once. Once you've established the connection, you should see AWeber as an option under the integration settings to select in our drag and drop builder. So let's take a look at that now. I'm gonna go ahead and X out. And on our left-hand side of our screen again, we do see AWeber appear as a selection. So let's go ahead and click on this. And from this location, let's select a destination. Here at Lead Pages, we do pull through forms and lists to connect from within a Weber. So I'm going to go ahead and select my Daniel testing form, waiting for it to connect. And from this point, I just wanted to talk a little bit further about forms and lists in a Weber. So I'm going to jump to our a Weber account here. I do have my Daniel testing list as our current one, which is what I'm integrating with in Lead Pages. Now, if you have don't have a list or looking to create a new one, you can always create a new list under Manage Lists here in AWeber, clicking on Create a List. For forms, and I'm going to go back here, under my Daniel testing list, you'll find the form. So in your specific list, you'll find that form where you can edit it. So I'm going to go Sign Up Forms. I do have a form connected here, so I'm going to say Edit. And the form is where I can set up those form fields that I'd like to collect. So creating additional custom fields that I'd like to pull in to lead pages for use on that form widget. So in this case, I have several form fields that I already have created, but if I wanted to create a new one, I would just say create a new custom field. I would give it a name of what event would you like us to be at? And I would say next. And from here I could say what kind of field, text input, radio, select box, check box, text area, or date. I'm gonna do text input and I'll save that field. And then I do want to make sure to save my form in AWeber. Now I'm going to head back to Lead Pages because there is another option under the integration setting for AWeber, and that is tags. So in addition to sending your leads to an AWeber list, you can also apply AWeber tags to those subscribers using the Lead Pages AWeber integration. Once you've selected the AWeber list or form that you'd like to integrate with, Lead Pages will pull in 500 of your most recently used AWeber tags for you to search from in order to tag your opt-ins. If you haven't created any tags in AWeber or are looking to create a new tag for these opt-ins, not a problem. The Lead Pages AWeber integration allows you to create a new tag for your AWeber subscribers right within Lead Pages. To do so, go ahead and start typing. So I'm going to say new opt-ins, and from here I can either select create or just hit enter on my keyboard. From this point, I just want to make sure to click Save. Now that I've integrated my form with AWeber, I do want to head into Fields so I can go ahead and add in that field I was looking to collect. So in this case, what event would you like us to be at? And done. And then I did want to note in the Actions for the Thank You page settings, make sure that you set these in Lead Pages, not in AWeber. Due to how the API integration with AWeber works, the thank you page that you select in lead pages is what shows. From this point, let's just go ahead and save and close. I'm gonna go ahead and publish my page and let's test out 
seeing our opt-in information within AWeber. Now that my page is published, I'll go ahead and submit my opt-in information. Now, as I'm submitting my opt-in information, I did want to make sure to mention that the AWeber integration within our drag and drop builder, by default, double opt-in is turned on for this. Double opt-in is the requirement that a lead needs to confirm their submission. They should receive a confirmation email to click to confirm. If you'd like to disable this, please reach out with AWeber's support team. I have gone ahead and confirmed my subscription, so let's head into AWeber. And from this point, let's go ahead and search for my opt-in. So I'm going to say subscribers. And from this screen in AWeber, let's take a look at my opt-in. And as we can see here, I do have my tag applied. So I'm going to head back to the Lead Pages Builder here. I'll go ahead and close this out. I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me for this tech tip. And don't forget, if you have any questions, our support team is just a click away under the question mark within your lead pages.